In this Roblox Studio tutorial, I am continuing with part 3 of, how to make a tapping simulator in Roblox. In this video, I am showing you how to add a stat script to your game, which will show in the game leaderboard. You may need to watch the previous video to this one which is in the description. That video has the latest code for this tapping clicker, and is the same as what I am starting this video with. Let's start now. Under service script service click on the plus sign and add a new script. Rename this script to stats. Type out this script as shown. Pay attention to spelling, capitals, and syntax. This script works as shown. If you have problems, troubleshoot line by line to check that yours is exactly the same. That's the leader stat script completed. Let's run it to check if it's added. Yes, it worked. You can see it has added taps to the leaderboard here. Okay, we want this to update when the player clicks the clicker. So we have two more lines of code to add. Under the clicker GUI, there's a local script. We need to add these two lines to this local script. Because when the player clicks, it can fire an event from here, and update both the taps GUI, and the leaderboard. If you don't have the taps GUI, or this local script code, it's probably a good idea to go back to the first video in this tapping series and get that set up, and then try to add this. Or try the second video, both are linked in the description. I was showing you how you could rename variables to anything in the last video. But let's rename these now so they tell us what it is. Variables should be helpful. Okay, now add these two lines as shown. That's the script completed. This should work now. Let's check it. Now, when I click on the tapping icon GUI, it is updating the taps count in both places. In the GUI and in the leaderboard. Please like the video if this helps you. And consider subscribing. And stay watching, I'll show the final scripts right now. That's all for this video, we were able to add leader stats to our tapping clicking and get it working. In the next video, I will show you how to store this data, so the player loads into the game with their previous tapping counts. This is the God of Coding at Epic Blocks to signing off, see you in the next one.